It was just months ago when doctors told Purdue student David Rankin there was a possibility he may not walk again after a devastating car accident. Only News Channel 18 was there in Indianapolis as Rankin declared he would walk again. Now, nearly four months later, he's doing just that. News Channel 18's Jamie Jackson catches up with him on campus in part one of this exclusive interview. Back in June, a wheelchair-bound David Rankin celebrated his discharge from rehab, and today... Wow! Look at you! Thank you, buddy. Oh, man, good to see good you. Good to see you, too. I was expecting a cane, no. a walker. No, not today. Not, not today. today. After a devastating accident on I-65, doctors told David he would be paralyzed from the neck down. I know I always said I was going to be back but it was more of like a faking it until I was making it type of approach. Um, so to be back is more of a surprise to me than it is to anyone else. So I'm just really proud to be here. Nearly four months later, back to campus and back to class. To go from where I was then to now is a complete surprise. I, c I couldn't believe it myself. Um, and it was just a day in, day out thing. Um, go to sleep with it, you wake up with it. Um, with the hope that, you know, maybe today's a little bit better than the last. This summer when I sat down with David, I asked him if he remembered the crash. I've had dreams um, of what would be, I guess, considered my accident. Um, what the doctors told me is that um, my subconscious kind of saved me and kind of hides me from all the pain I have, but I actually don't remember any of the accident. But with recovery of his ability to walk, painful reminders of what happened. The last memory I remember having is that I'm yelling, I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not dead, I'm trying to yank my leg out from underneath. Under the shadow of a space capsule in the Neil Armstrong Hall of Engineering, this aeronautical engineering student still dreams of walking on the moon and even Mars. As he overcomes this tragedy, he finds himself one step closer to that dream. I want to make sure, you know, my life counts for something now because I'm on a lot of time now. I realized I couldn't have gone out in the accident any other way. And so now the big thing is just trying to prove that I have uh, something to live for. Jamie Jackson, News Channel 18. Wow, what an inspiring young man. Tomorrow on News Channel 18 at 5, catch part two of Jamie's exclusive sit-down as David watches his first interview with our crew from June. We'll tell you what he's learned from his recovery. And at WLFI.com, we've posted bonus video of our interview with David.